An ionic bond is a bond in which electrons are transferred, resulting in ions that are held together by the electrostatic force. So unlike covalent bonds where the electrons are shared between two atoms and their mutual attraction for the shared electron pair holds them together, an ionic bond is formed due to a big difference in electronegativity. So as an example, we have here sodium that has one valence electron and chlorine that has seven valence electron, and there is a big difference in their electronegativities. And as a result, that single lone valence electron is transferred from sodium to chlorine. We say transferred, but it is essentially taken by the chlorine, which leaves our sodium ion with a positive charge because it has lost an electron and our chlorine ion, which is now negatively charged because it has gained an electron. Both of those now have full valence shells and they stick together or they are held together because we have one positively charged object and another negatively charged object. And as a result, they are held together by that electrostatic force the same can be said for magnesium oxide, except now that oxygen needs two more electrons, but fortunately magnesium has two electrons. So both of those electrons are transferred to oxygen, which leaves the magnesium with a charge of plus two, oxygen with a charge of minus two or two minus, and as a result, they are held together by that electrostatic force. Finally, it is also possible, as we can see here, where calcium has two electrons essentially to give and fluorine can only take one of those in scenarios like this we would find that there is always another fluorine that is present that is willing to accept that extra electron and as a result here we form something that has a single calcium ion that has a charge of two plus but then we form two separate fluorine ions that both have a charge of minus one. As a result, the net charge is zero, and we can still see that there haven't been any gained or lost electrons. Another difference between ionic and covalent bonds is the type of structures that they form, where we know that covalent bonds are bonds between specific atoms, and they form molecules, where ionic bond or bonds form what we call a lattice structure, a neatly arranged structure in which the positive and negative ions arrange themselves such that they are attracted or surrounded by opposite charges. So as an example with sodium chloride, we would have a po positive sodium ion surrounded by negative chlorine ions, which in turn are surrounded by positive sodium ions and negative chlorine ions. And here we can see through this neat arrangement, we form a lattice structure that has its own unique properties.